Hello. Thank you so much for taking the time to hear more about Girls Who Code. Let us start by introducing ourselves. My name is Jackson Thomas, and I'm a community partner manager at Girls Who Code. My name is Keo and Wesson, and I'm also a community partner manager at Girls Who Code. We're excited to tell you more about our programs and discuss how we can work together to bring computer science to girls in your community or build upon what you're already doing. Here's our agenda for this session. We'll start by providing a brief overview of Girls Who Code, including our mission and the national problem we are working to address. We will then transition into a more in-depth discussion of our clubs program, including the program model and information about how to launch clubs in your community. We'll then discuss the process for starting a formal partnership with Girls Who Code. Over the next 20 minutes, we'll cover everything you need to launch a club in your community. We wanted to start off with a video that shows just how much a Girls Who Code club can do to provide skills, opportunity, and a better future for girls in your community. Wake up, work, and it's got me pretty stressed out to the point where I don't, don't really eat like I should. I'm a fueler for a rental company. In the winter time, it's a lot uh, more strenuous. He works, you know, anywhere from seven in the morning till four in the morning the next day, seven days a week straight. My work is dangerous. I'm basically driving a bomb around the truck full of fuel. My dad works a lot. He wakes up early and comes home late at night. I wouldn't want Courtney to do what I do. I want her to go to college. I want her to have more opportunities in life. That's why I put Courtney in coding. girls. <laughs> the goal was really just trying to get them comfortable not being afraid to make mistakes. Everybody listen to Courtney, please. So to get the cat to pop out, I had to like to get out. I had to just leave that there. It's difficult because you have to do this math with it. And what's that math for? <laughs> to, when you click, to show where it will go. <laughs> okay, so. Cody has taught me that nothing comes easy. <laughs> Girls Who Code is a lot more than just coding. Um, we cover a lot of life skills, asking questions, working together and teamwork. Coding makes you like be able to create stuff. I get to see my what I create come to life. I put her in these extracurricular activities so she can advance and have a career that's less labor intensive. I think coding will give them, you know, more opportunity for not only employment, but it's also sort of the next craft. Courtney is the center of my world. I've had full custody of her since I was in the, the military. She's kept me strong and focused. My goal before I die is to just make sure that her life's as comfortable as can be, and I'm here as much as I can be for her. I like to make stories, which means I would like to make them come to life. My dream is to probably work at Cartoon Network. Which she always, when she puts her mind to it, she can do anything she wants. Courtney's smart, she's kind, and she's a coder. We hope that gave you a better sense of exactly how important a club might turn out to be to girls in your community. Now that you've seen what a club looks like, we'd like to take a step back and provide more context around Girls Who Code and the problem we are working to solve. Girls Who Code is a nonprofit dedicated to closing the gender gap in technology and preparing girls for the future of work. We do this by providing free and flexible CS programs for middle and high school students. Our programs educate, equip, and inspire girls with the computing skills they'll need to pursue 21st century opportunities. Let's talk more about the gender gap in technology. Although computing skills are the most sought after in the U.S. job market, with demand growing at three times the national average, girls across the U.S. are being left on the sidelines. Today, less than a quarter of computing jobs are held by women, and that number is declining, 
making this a national concern. Research has found that to address the gender gap in technology, we must introduce girls to tech at an earlier age. Girls Who Code programs are designed to get girls excited about computer science. While girls' interest in computer science declines over time, the greatest drop-off happens in middle and high school. Research has shown that in middle and high school, girls' interest in computer science declines dramatically at the same time that boys' interest grows. As a result, girls are unlikely to major in computer science or STEM in college or go into a career in tech. If we can engage girls in computer science in middle and high school, we can begin to address the gender gap in tech. And to fight against the gender gap in tech, we created our summer immersion and clubs programs. During this presentation, we'll focus on our clubs program, but for reference, our summer immersion program is a free seven week summer program for current 10th and 11th grade girls to learn coding and get exposure to tech jobs. Summer immersion programs are hosted by major tech companies in select cities across the country. Our largest program is our clubs program, which is a free after school program for middle and high school students. Through the clubs program, girls learn to use computer science to impact their community and join a supportive sisterhood of peers and role models across the US. Our clubs are designed with three primary goals in mind. The first is impact. Our curriculum is designed to teach girls that they can become problem solvers in their community. Girls work to solve real world problems that they care about through code, resulting in a computer science impact project, which is the center of our curriculum. The second is sisterhood. It's important that girls in clubs learn that they don't need to address issues in their community alone. That's why our clubs are designed to provide girls with a safe and supportive environment of peers and role models where girls can learn to see themselves as computer scientists. The third is coding. While they are brainstorming, designing, and building their CS impact project, club girls learn key computer science concepts that form the foundation of all programming languages. Beyond hard coding skills, girls gain exposure to real world project management and problem solving techniques. Girls Who Code clubs are easy to start in your community. These are all of the things you need to host a club, computers and internet, space to host the club, and a volunteer to facilitate the club for one to two hours each week. Girls Who Code provides everything else. Ideally, clubs for, meet for a minimum of 15 to 20 sessions, with some meeting for a semester, and others for an entire academic year. We also have an option for a condensed club that meets for 10 weeks, so the curriculum is flexible. Let's talk more about the volunteer facilitators who lead clubs. Clubs are led by volunteer facilitators from the community. Facilitators can be teachers, after school educators, college students, librarians, parents, or volunteers from any background or field. And that's because our curriculum is designed so that anyone can facilitate a club. There's no computer science experience needed. Our club's facilitators guide club girls through the curriculum, help them become better problem solvers and build their confidence. We know that clubs need effective facilitators, so we make facilitator support a priority. Girls Who Code provides facilitators with free training and support materials to ensure that each facilitator can successfully run their club. Here are some of the training and supports that we provide each facilitator. Now that we've covered logistics, let's talk about the impact that clubs can have on girls and their communities. Clubs have a tremendous impact both in how they encourage girls to see computer science as a part of their future and in how they have created a movement to address the gender gap in tech. According to our last survey, 75% of our club students say they are more likely to take a computer science class after participating in a club. 65% of clubs graduates said that they intend to major or minor in computer science. Girls who participate in clubs become passionate about computer science and come to see it as a key component of their college and career plans. In 2016, we launched 1,000 clubs in all 50 states, reaching a total of 40,000 girls across the US. To put that number in perspective, only 10,000 girls graduate with a degree in computer science every year. But as fantastic as that is, we see this as just the beginning as we hope to reach many more girls in many more communities this year. To help reach girls in your community, consider a partnership with us to launch multiple clubs and reach more girls in your community. Girls Who Code is excited to explore a formal partnership with any organization committed to launching five or more clubs in their community. Our partners work more closely with Girls Who Code to enhance the experience for the girls in their clubs. 
Partnerships come with a number of advantages. Girls Who Code provides its partners with a number of supplemental supports and benefits, including priority consideration for field trips, regional events, and the Clubs Fund, a fund that distributes needs-based grants to individual clubs. A summary impact report that highlights the impact of your clubs on the girls they serve and eligibility for reserved spots for our summer immersion program based on availability and location. If a partnership is not feasible at this time, you can still start clubs in your community. We realize that not every organization is positioned to launch five clubs. Your organization can also work toward expanding clubs or apply to start individual clubs. Feel free to apply to start individual clubs at your school, library, community center, college, or other nonprofit by visiting our website and filling out a brief application. Once you have applied, we will send you all the materials you need to get started. If you do plan to start more than one club within your network, let us know so that, we, so that we can track the club applications coming in from your network. Once we confirm your intention to launch multiple clubs, we'll add your organization to our club's application and share email templates and flyers to send to your network to support your outreach efforts. Even if you can't launch a club, you can still help support the cause. Know someone who would make a great facilitator? Recruit them and send them to our website. Even spreading the word to your networks can make a huge difference. You never know who might be ready and able to start a club. We really appreciate any and all support that you are able to provide and hope that you can join our movement. Our club's application for the 2017-18 school year is open. The application takes just five to 10 minutes to complete. If you're ready to launch a single club, please use the page listed to get started. After your application is approved, you'll have access to everything you need, including our learning platform, curriculum, and facilitator training. If you'd like to launch multiple clubs, please email the Girls Who Code staff member who manages clubs expansion in your state, as indicated in the table on this slide. Once we receive your email, we'll reach out to set up a call as soon as possible. Thank you so much for taking the time to view this presentation, and we hope that you will join our movement to address the gender gap in technology and provide girls in your community with the skills they need for the jobs of the future.